If you're just tuning in, we're focusing on Nollywood and the Nigerian image, and we still have Dami Okonlawa with us. Now, remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways to Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 8038 So, Sanzi, um, yep. Mori, maybe before we come to Sanzi, let me hear Mori's um, thoughts. Oh, okay. I think we, hey, today, <laughs> Mori, I'm our baby. All right, so, Sanzi, let me hear new, your thoughts. New mom uh, troubles. Yeah, <laughs> such an amazing. We're happy to, to close that chapter. But what, what, do you, what, what do you make of what, um, um, what Dan, Dan was saying? Well, Danny is a senior colleague, and obviously he has more um, um, views of the uh, nitty-gritty in the industry more than I do. Um, so I tend to agree with a lot of what he has said, um, but I also have things that I, I would like him to um, clear out. There is this popular belief that we don't have the right structure. I mean, there is still the investment challenges, which is why a lot of people will still run to their uncle, give me 500000 give me one million to make a movie and I know like all the things are addressed at, uh, during AFRIV but I would also like to get um, his views on um, what is it uh, it's true that production qualities are rising is he back with us yeah. but um, I, I would like I to am, talk I'm right here all right. all right, fantastic. So I was telling you earlier that I, I, I completely buy your views uh, on things you have talked about previously, considering the fact that you're a senior colleague in the industry. However, I would like to talk about, uh, aside the fact that our um, production quality has uh, improved uh, hugely, like we can compete with certain uh, Hollywood films when it, comes to, when it comes to production qualities, let's talk about royalties and structure. A lot of people believe still that we are lacking hugely in structure and also i'd like to hear your views on um, um royalties do you see it um being a thing in the industry anytime soon okay so first of all i'd like to correct that statement sanzi <laughs> i'm not your senior colleague <laughs> we are colleagues okay we are colleagues yes okay <laughs> we are colleagues <laughs> You are not, <laughs> you're not a newcomer to the industry at all. Um, <laughs> but here's what I want to say um, about structure. We, we are, if you agree with me, we, we, we exist in an environment where there's not even much structure. Um, we're talking about across board in all industries. We're not perfect in any industry. Right. I mean, even our financial institutions cannot boast of having the best structure. So. Yes, Nollywood is, you know, is still growing in terms of structure. We're still trying to build, you know, the proper structures. And hopefully when government starts to take us more seriously, you know, there'll be policies in place to assist those structures to stand. Um, because it's, I mean, having all the structure in the world without policies that are able to protect industry players, you know, is, is not going to work. It's not going to give us um, a long enough lifespan. Um, the other question that you had was talking about royalties. Yes. Um, so strangely enough, I had this conversation with um, some of my colleagues um, mm -hmm. as a member of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. And um, there are certain things that we're trying to um, work out, you know, to better the welfare of the average actor, to the AGN um, actor. Um, and when we started to talk about welfare, one of the things that I tried to push forward was that there are so many more things that we could start off with first right. before delving into issues so technical, you know, as technical as royalties. Because royalties, they're not just that simple, number one. Number two, even the Hollywood that we're saying that they get royalties, it's not true. It's not a constant um, fact, okay. you know, of, of exactly. So it's not everyone who gets royalties. <laughs> Some people get royalties. Others don't. It depends on your level in the industry, uh, the amount of value that you're able to add to the production, you know, even the type of production. You're more likely to get royalties of TV um, series instead of films. You know, there's so many ways to, um, to look at that conversation. But there's so many other things that we could do to benefit actors. Uh, and the AGN, as you might have heard, is also doing things in the area of... Um, health insurance so yeah, we have absolutely, you know, yes. HMO assigned to the actors we, guild, I, I think this is a very critical thing to actually consider because I feel that if our actors are not hungry anymore 
that they are well taken care of and they are making good money, then they have the capacity. You are saying you can think, you want to select your script. Some people don't have that choice because they are feeding from hand to mouth. So if we take good care of our actors, they will think straight, they will think clearly, I mean, and they will be able to now churn out the kind of stories that we are asking for that would impact, um, what's it called, that would impact the image and change the overall image of Nigeria. That's what I think. But let me come to Mori. <laughs> Mori, are you there? Oh, Mori is not there. Okay, you know what? So, dear me, now, where is the role of, um, because you said something about um, who plays the piper, dictates the tune, and all of that. I want to ask um, this simple question. How do we change that tune, you know, if we say that it is the person that is paying, right? How do we get those people to say they want to invest? We, I'm talking about, when I say we, I'm talking about the viewers now. Because I've heard several times um, people that are filmmakers say that it is the viewers that determine what they turn out. That we are not those kind of deep people. So when you bring all those deep, real stories and all of that, we don't go to the cinemas to watch it. We don't pay for those kind of movies. Is that true? No, I wouldn't say that is true. And I've heard this conversation, this type of conversation being had in the past, and I've always disagreed vehemently. Um, you can always tell a story, uh, or you can tell a story about anything. You just have to learn to ramp up the entertainment value yeah. of the yeah. story. If, if, if a story is too real, if it's too real, you're gonna tune off because you're not really entertained by it. Yeah. But if there's an element of it, I mean, that's like you telling the story of your life to yourself. It's not interesting. You want to spice it up a little bit. So whatever story it is, you can ramp up the entertainment value. So it's not about people um, not wanting to or people not being deep enough. Nigerians are the deepest people, you know, I think across the face of the earth. So there's nothing we can give them that they won't accept as long as we do our job of being creative enough to keep them mentally engaged. I think that's going to be um, the, the conversation we should have going forward. Not about dumbing down films because you think people won't accept it. You ramp up your creativity Absolutely. so you can enjoy it. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Okay. I think it's important that I uh, tell our audience to our viewers to get me on set. Yes. So <laughs> pardon, pardon the little noise distractions. Um, it's 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 actually an honor to have him. He made out time uh, from his busy filming uh, schedule to be with us. Right. So um, now, can we talk about um, film distribution? You are the head of uh, uh, Silverbird Distribution. So, what really is that industry? like distribution like we, we focus a lot of an on uh, we focus a lot on executive uh, production producers directors actors but film distribution is like it's it's new to us we don't really understand that that part of of being a filmmaker could you tell us more about it so remember how i was introduced as a former baker yes yeah, so <laughs> right my mom used to make these beautiful cakes. Um, had a shop somewhere in Ikeja. Beautiful cakes. And she kept trying to get me into the kitchen to make the cakes. And I would tell her all the time, Mommy, I just want to sell the cakes. I want to make the money. You got me the cake. I make the money. So distribution in the film industry is the money-making part of filmmaking, if you know what I mean. It's, some people go and they cook the film. I just want to sell it. Make sure that enough people enjoy the film. I mean, filmmakers can make their money, you know, the investments that they've made, they can get it back. Yeah. yeah. So we're... Get back the investments okay. as well as some return on, on that investment. That's my response. And that's the job of distribution. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're constantly looking for movies that we believe that Nigerians would embrace, but not only Nigerians, movies that have a worldwide appeal, appeal. Okay. You know, so it appeals first to Nigerians and then to the rest of the world because we want to sell it in Nigerian cinemas first and then take it out to other platforms you know the international platforms even the local platforms that you know serve the Nigerian diaspora and the African diaspora because Nollywood is actually embraced by black people all over the world all over the world and that also some people who are not of the same skin color that we have. So that's why um, it's so, so important that that's why it's so important that we are telling the right story. So a question from one of our audience. What are the what are 
really the strength of Nollywood on storylines? And what should they really focus on? Because it's very important. We are actually very big. I mean, um, the U.S. Uh, International Trade Commission rated Nollywood, I mean, said in 2014, we made about $600 million. You know, we added, Nollywood added 600 So, and I'm, this was 2014. So you can imagine how much more it has added up at this point. So we are actually very very strategic nollywood as an industry is very strategic so what yeah what so how do we understand um what should really be our focus in terms of storylines so you say that again so what should be our focus in terms of storylines our stories that we tell you know what should be our focus there me so i think our focus you need to tell an authentic Nigerian or African stories. That should be our main focus. You see, because that's what the rest of the world doesn't have to have seen. And if we don't start telling these stories, other people will try to start telling it for us, as they've done in times past. Yeah. And, and of course, case in point, we have um, the Wakanda film, um, Black Panther. And they came and told, told this fantastic story, and the world embraced it. One of the highest grossing films of all time. Right. Um, yes. And so I think that if we are very authentic and we, we focus a bit more on the quality of the work that we do, of course, that means that we need bigger budgets to do the kind of things that we need to do. Tell stories about our, our leaders. We have so many interesting stories that can be told about Nigeria's history and its culture and even its contemporary times. There's so many things going on that the world wants to see. And that's what we should be telling them. So, Jeremy, if you want to, um, <laughs> I'll come to you, Sansi. If you want to now look at the projections for Nollywood in the near future, where do you see us going in terms of shaping our image globally? Where do you see Nollywood? How do you see us projecting that image to the world, the Nigerian image? And I see us projecting the image to the world. Yes. Oh, okay, let, let's start from where are we at right now in terms of how Nollywood is projecting our image and where do you see us going to? We, the transition has already started. Yes, okay. We've had the films from the 80s and the 90s to the early 20, 2000s, right? Um, we started to see that change. The change you're talking about is evident. It's clear to anybody that wants to see. Just look at the old movies that you've seen in the past and go forward, go to Netflix and go see the movies that we have now and you realize that, you know, we are, we're doing this thing that you're talking about. We're changing the conversation. We are already changing the image. We just want the to embrace us a little bit more. Okay, I think we're having trouble with your background crew member. <laughs> But we understand we were the ones that look for trouble we had yeah. to we, but we had to bring you on the show but um yeah. quickly one final question before I mean, I think we have to let dme go actually right well just one final question even though i would have loved to ask him the story behind you just looking for people's trouble why are you why are you changing, why are you changing people's outfit on instagram you know but 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 that but that's okay. um, that, that, that's by the way pj is a huge match for you i am so happy for what he did to you <laughs> but anyway here is my question um, you're filming in, I mean, this COVID pandemic and of course work has to go on because people need to make money and, and survive. So I'd like you to share some tips you're working on, uh, uh, um, some tips for other actors who are filming um, during this time. And also, what is it like filming, I mean, the, the pandemic? So if you go on the Silverbird distribution page, we've put up um, best practices for working within this time. It's, okay. it's really important that we be safe. So even though we're still working, we're making sure everybody's safe, constantly washing hands, constantly sanitizing, yeah. you know, being very careful on set, social distancing as much as we can, but everybody gets tested before they come on set. So there's a lot of that going on. Um, and my advice really is that people should just be safe, you know, no matter what happens, you know, there's always going to be time to do more films and, um, and do the things that we love doing with, with film in Nollywood. Oh, thank you. So what's your final Go message to the young people <laughs> and to Nigerians watching? Keep embracing Nollywood and pray for us. Awesome. Pray we for will. Us. And we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you because you took our time from your busy um, um, you. schedule to talk to us. We really, really yes. appreciate it. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you. Uh, Have a nice evening. <laughs> and you too. Oh. <laughs> Such a busy so guy. Nice him. Yes. Yeah, so, so um, Sanzi. Mm -hmm. 
so sad that we lost Mori. She's playing mother duty. Yeah. Okay. I really wanted to see the baby, you know, <laughs> to flash. Let her just flash the baby for us to see uh, before. But, I mean, I'm happy that we were able to get, even if it's five minutes of her time, yeah. you know, to, to join the show. But um, what's your final conversation in terms of knowledge? So, for me, um, with Nollywood, mm -hmm. right, I, I said something to a friend of mine. He got offended because he's a pastor. He got offended. He said, ah, what, what are you saying? I said, see, while you guys were busy preaching Jesus Christ, whatever, whatever, the media, you know, was gathering a influence. lot of influence and momentum. Mm -hmm. So when COVID-19 happened and there was panic and everything, of course, where do you think that panic attack was being spread? It was from the media, right? People in the media, oh, don't do, you know, so a lot of people were afraid and all of that. It's the same thing with the movie industry. Mm -hmm. The movie industry has the capacity you know, to change a lot of things. So for me, I think, you know, I'll keep praying for Nollywood. Mm -hmm. We're actually doing well. I We're growing, that. right? We're changing the narratives. Look at what Maury said. I was going to mention that with the cat thing. Because if you check, you know, Odin Day's movies, they will tell you cats are witches. And I mean, these things have truly shaped. When I mentioned that, oh, I'm going to have a cat soon. My makeup artist, my producer, and one other lady in the, in the, in the makeup room said, ha -ha! You know, that is how powerful storytelling is. Right. That is how influential storytelling is. So I, I, I'm just hoping and I'm praying that we can actually begin to tell stories that have deep meanings and that can transform Nigeria. You well, know? yeah, just like Demi said, uh, that we have already um, started, started that yeah. process. We're already, I think it's um, bits by bit. Nigeria is not full, ready for the full dosage. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little bit of this, a little, a little bit, bit of that, that and then yeah. we're passing, we're, um, passing the, the And I think I must cross. commend some people that I know that they There's are advocates. There's a people advocates, on the frontier. They yeah. are advocates for this good storytelling, Mildred. Okay, yes. She's always on Twitter talking about it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Ego Boy as well. You know, so I think it's... And some directors that are changing. Yes. Kemi Adetiba is one of She's them. She's changing Shia the narrative, yes. Um, um, what are they? Oh, goodness, forgive me. Niyi is there. Um, James is there. Victor Agahua is there. Um, Our brethren um, people, they are there. Yeah. <laughs> In case you didn't yeah. know, me, I, I debuted my acting. Oh, yeah, and brethren. I think someone asked a question about, um, yeah, I think it was. Yes, yeah. on day, I, mean, I was going to ask him that question, but because of the background noise, maybe okay. you should talk about it. The person was asking about um, professionals, that representing professionals properly, you know, on yeah. on screen. That uh, Can you please address how Nollywood represents some professions? It, it is an area that warrants massive improvement on their part. I would love to see a better representation of my profession. We try well, to get her we don't profession, know, but we don't, we don't know, know yeah. exactly their profession. But um, yes, I do agree to a certain extent that most times you just take things for granted. It's like, oh, you're playing a doctor. There is no research to what, who really is a doctor. Some of the words, the medical terms, how do you pronounce them? What does it mean? What is the carriage of a doctor? How does a doctor break bad news? So it's kind of like just have the stethoscope in your ear, place it on the chest and yeah, please, can I see you in my office? Mm. You know, that we, we need to change that. You know what? And we're, we're doing a better job Absolutely. at it. Well, like, for instance, I would always make reference to Fourth Republic. Um, Kate Henshaw, we, we, we saw her playing she embodied hmm. the role. Even Eina and Lydia, we saw them embody the role. And then Dey Amin, Your Excellency, the young aspiring um, um, politician. Um, politician, I think he took on the role very well. well. And so many, even in Brethren, where we had the SCU unit, we know our policemen don't exactly work like that. But the fantasy we built, I think it was well executed. Absolutely. So there's a How lot more research add? going yeah. into um, characters. Character, Especially when you have yeah. to play a, a pre-existing profession. Yeah. You know, I was going to add that um, Lala made me understand sickle cell anemia. In uh, Kulia Fulani. Dazzling Mirage. Yes, yes. I mean, outside of Dry and Daz I mean, those are the two movies that I literally was sobbing when I was leaving the cinema. I was well, like, the movie made me cry. <laughs> no, 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 no. This one, I cried so hard because for me, sickle cell is close to home for me. So I, hit, I never understood how painful the that... Impact. The impact, you know, I never understood that. So for me, I think, you know, if we begin to tell those kind of stories, then let people in yeah. on these issues. We truly will change the narrative, you know, in Nigeria. Nollywood has power.
to it do has, that. We have yeah. uh, potential. We have the power for influence. We have the power to make money. Absolutely. We have, there is a lot of a lot of hidden talent and yeah. abilities in Nollywood, and we are just starting to milk it. All right, all right. I think I think we've had, we had a fantastic show. Yeah. You know, <laughs> this is what you get when you have a busy actor on set. <laughs> you know, but we we, we 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 I think we live by by we we'll live we we'll live we we'll, won't we'll die. <laughs> all right. So please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's been a very, very insightful conversation. Keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at Way Show Africa and Plus TV Africa as we continue to hear what you're saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. A good film does more than entertain or fill seats at the cinema. It has the power to change hearts and minds and sometimes society more widely. Now, thank you so much. Maury, I wish we could see the baby. We're hoping we could see the baby. <laughs> you know, but we can't see the baby. Thank you, Maury. Thank you, Demi Okonlawa. And thank you, Sanzi, for making this thank an interesting you. evening. <laughs> All right, we'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen.